Yes, set of meetings yesterday for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He first met with officials from the lobbying group APAC. That was in the morning, just a, more of a, a catching up, so to speak, for Bennett and the leadership of APAC. Several of his meetings throughout the day were postponed because the Biden administration was dealing with the Afghanistan crisis. So meetings kept getting pushed back. Eventually, uh, Bennett made his way to the Pentagon, where he met with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who uh, again recommitted to that unwavering iron iron clad defense agreement with Israel. He committed to replenishing the Iron Dome stock uh, that was fired off during the recent uh, round of violence with Hamas back in May. Austin said he's working with Congress to get that uh, emergency funding pushed through. He also laid uh, blame at the feet of Iran for their uh, menacing activity throughout the region and said uh, it won't go unanswered. Later on, it was back to the hotel for that meeting with the Secretary of State, uh, Tony Blinken. And Blinken, uh, just like other administrators, administration officials before him have really been complimentary of uh, Bennett's ability to hold together his fractious coalition. Blinken has supported that effort and has said that he wants to help Bennett expand upon those Abraham Accord nat uh, or rather normalization agreements that were signed during the Trump administration. Here's Tony Blinken on that. Uh, the relationship that uh, Israel is developing with other countries uh, in the region, I think a very important development and one that we uh, we look forward to helping to build on, uh, as well as dealing with uh, other uh, challenges, including uh, the relationship uh, with, uh, with the Palestinians, which is, uh, I know, very important to, uh, to all of us. Mike, the messy U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan is definitely casting a shadow on Bennett's trip. Will it also impact the meeting today at the Oval Office and the focus, perhaps, on the meeting? Well, it's interesting. Uh, several senior administration officials at the White House uh, told reporters that uh, it's actually a good thing, and they're trying to spin this a little bit, that the U.S. is withdrawing from Afghanistan because it frees up their resources and their attention uh, to a focus on other things throughout the, the Middle East, including on Israel and the related events going on in that particular part of the world. And they said that it's not really uh, going to harm Israel in the end. There were Israeli officials very concerned about that withdrawal and perhaps lack of a U.S. commitment to resources in in the Middle East, those senior administration officials say nothing can be further from the truth and that they're not really withdrawing from that part of the world. Now, Biden obviously is dealing with this crisis, so things could get shifted around today. But for right now, a one-on-one -on -one meeting between Biden and Bennett here at the White House at 1130 Eastern at 630 p.m. Israel. About a half hour later, that will expand and uh, the advisors for both sides will be pulled into the Oval Office to discuss a range of issues, everything from Iran to uh, opening up visa waivers for Israelis who want to visit the United States, just a whole range of issues to be discussed today.